Hey guys, it is Garrett Stewart with Command Consult, and in today's video, I wanted to show you uh, a way to spice up your smart plant emails a little bit more. Uh, there is a way that you can actually put some images in your smart plant emails, and so instead of just having the uh, the basic text version, which sometimes is is good because it does seem a little bit more personal, authentic look to it, uh, some people want a little bit more. Um, some graphics in it and things like that, something to stand out, maybe even have just your email signature or something like that in there. Um, so in today's video, we're gonna create a smart plan whether, uh, or a step for a smart plan whether you're creating it for just a, a one step, maybe newsletter, or you could be creating it just for a part of a uh, extended multi-step smart plan. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into uh, designs and that's just right located right over here and then from designs we'll click on that and then we'll go down here into the plus button to create uh, a new smart plan so we'll click right there and of course like I said we're doing email so right there we'll click on email and we're gonna open up the email editor now we have the option to do design uh, templates here and with these design templates we are able to um, utilize these uh, and that's actually personally what I like to do because they do uh, it kind of has some stuff set up already for me um, my go-to ends up normally being the uh, modern uh, modern basic uh, so I normally go with that one I'll hit next and that's going to open up there it has some nice color in it headline uh, things like that so I, I do like that you can always hit this little preview button there uh, so you see a little eye on there uh, so get an idea. So let's just go in here and um, you know you do have the opportunity to put your information uh, in here if you want. And you know what? Maybe I'd rather have an email signature uh, on here that I've created. So whether or not I use the, the part there or not, I don't have to. Uh, but maybe I want to put uh, an image of my email signature instead. So I could just drag that image button in here and I'll just drop it in right there and I could actually add my own image in here. So I'll hit add images. I actually created this in designs under um, the social option uh, in designs. And so I just downloaded it. I'll just drop it in here. There it is. Save it. Now I have a little signature. So you could do this in any smart plan that you already have created for an email. You could copy that text that was in the email and paste the text into the text box here and you'd literally have the same email, but you could have the email signature on there. I know some people have really wanted that signature in there. Um, absolutely could do that. So you could just build out your smart plan uh, any way you want, or if this is a newsletter or anything like that, um, you could just build that out any way you want. Uh, again, I do have a video all about creating a newsletter template, actually using this modern basic uh, part. Uh, so you could create that and just drop in anything else of these widgets in here that you want uh, and edit it. So once you do that, you're going to be all done. Let's just call this, uh, let's just say I had edited this for a smart plan and I'll just say uh, smart plan test. I'll just name it that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit save it and actually we'll just save an exit. Whoops. Uh, from there, it's right in there. We're going to go into our smart plan and add it in. So we'll go into a smart plan and we could actually just go ahead and hit this create button. And let's just say uh, we'll just do smart plan designs test uh, since that's what uh, we're doing. But you name it whatever you want for your smart plan apply or maybe you already had a smart plan to downloaded from the library you could be editing uh, a smart plan you already had existed uh, so you've got your email in here and uh, i did that just by adding hit send email and that just dropped in here or if you were just editing an existing plan you'd already see it in here um, so now you normally have your simple email typed out up here with your subject line but instead we're going to be doing our designs email uh, type so then we go from here, we hit select designs, and then we hit my design templates right up here. And hey, look at that, there's our smart plan test. So we'll click on that, got it. it, gives us a chance to verify and make any last edits before we wanna do it. So 
we could just drop that in. You could almost create a template for each one that you want to do. So maybe this one uh, step, you, you could put in the text you want for it. Great, done, and then hit save and exit. Uh, once you've got that in there, you could just put um, anything you want. So let's just say um, smart plan test. Okay, awesome, we'll save it. You'd build out your smart plan or edit your smart plan for any additional ones. You could create multiple steps in a smart plan with emails for check-in, things like that. Again, feel free to utilize other people's smart plans from the library and then just copy that text and put it into one of these design email smart plans and you'd be able to send them out that way. You just copy the text and paste it in there when you're in the editor and be able to go from there. So really cool way to add uh, a little bit of more color pop um, might stand out a little bit more for people uh, wanting that so and, and you know you can have the opportunity to put your uh, more personalized email signature on there if you have something really nice so uh, i hope you guys enjoy that once you're done obviously uh, you just be able to save and add people to your smart plan directly from there uh, or any way possible so uh, i hope you guys enjoy have an amazing day, and for more tra command training and support, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com. Thanks for watching.